welcome to Peaky Ray TV. I'm Louise. And I'm Saffron. And today we're here at London's West End to watch School of Rock. We're really excited because we're going to be interviewing two of the cast members and one director to find out what it's like behind the scenes of this amazing show. We'll also be finding out what it's like to be a West End performer. So come along and join our amazing experience. Hope you enjoy. Hi Jake, thank you so much for letting us join you. So can you tell us just a little bit about how you got here? So because of the part, the audition process was, was big. So I think I had to do three songs from the show, three scenes, and then bring my guitar in and play my guitar. It was big. I remember I was in the room for a good 45 minutes, I'd say, for, for one of them, um, which is a lot of pressure and a lot of stress, but great fun because the material's great. Yeah. And also you're trying to do it pretending to act with loads of kids and it's actually just two adults <laughs> stood in front of you. Okay, so have you always wanted to be an actor? Is there sort of like other things that maybe you've been interested in before? Well, I actually trained to be a teacher show which is quite strange that I now do this on stage pretending to be <laughs> yeah. yeah and I used to be in a band it's like I'm like this huge <laughs> method actor that I, I was really from like the age of six I always really enjoyed acting and the idea of it but I didn't really start it until I was about 24 or, and from now on it, that's I can't see myself doing anything else mm -hmm. um but before that, I did a few jobs. Worked for the police. I w Ooh. was a yeah, I was a, a teacher. I used to pack bags at Morrison. Yeah, I've done a few. Do you find that the show changes with the different cast you have? Because obviously, there's so many kids that they don't do every single night. Do you find that it changes with each new cast? Yeah, yeah, it changes massively. Um, always in a good way, but it does change because there's a whole different dynamic. Um, each group kind of starts to form each team, starts to form its own kind of personality. Um, and it means that the show always gets where it needs to go, but in a different way. I actually think that it's fantastic. I'm kind of nervous about doing another show where it's just the same cast always, um, because of the fact that you, each time you do it, you haven't, you know, maybe it'll be a, gr a group of kids that you haven't done it with for a week. Um, and so you have that slight nerves again, the slight, you have to remember how you play off each other and, and the same for them, you know, because there is, there is you know, there's two doers. So I find that it, it, it actually really helps the, helps the show, helps you as a performer and helps the, the story to be told because you have to keep remembering to listen. So um, what was your favourite stage, would you say, of sort of like the rehearsal process? Because I joined the company while the show was already up and running, mm -hmm you don't get to initially rehearse on the stage. So you rehearse in, in a separate room, obviously, because the show's still going on. So you do a lot of the rehearsals in there, and that was all really good fun. But as soon as then you, and you first get onto the stage with the lights and the sound, so the first time that we did all of that, that was amazing, because mm -hmm. then you just get all the things that you've been doing in this little room kind of amplified, and you see how it's gonna work, and there's a revolve on the stage. So I would say it was that initial kind of first slight run of, of the, the, some of the big songs was, was the best moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I still get tingles thinking about it. <laughs> Do you have any advice for young people going into this industry for like auditions or nerves? Someone told me years ago that the adrenaline and like nerves and excitement are just basically the exact same feeling. So I always try to look at it a little bit like that when you're when you're really excited and you get the tingles, it's kind of the same feeling as when you're really nervous about something. So just to try and twist it and be like, this is gonna be really good. Try and find a way of going into the room and and know that when you walk out of it in 20 minutes time, the world's still carrying on exactly the same as it was before. And then I think the most important thing is just to be nice. Just be a nice person. Don't fall down the trap of being catty and um, bitter about things and just find your, your way in and then just be a good person about it. And, and I think that it does pay off. So thank you so much, Jake, for letting us obviously interview in that and um, looking forward to see the show. Yeah, so excited. Really no, good. No, not at all. I'm good, really yeah. enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much. Thanks. Nice to meet you guys. Mm -hmm. Hiya. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? So what would you say is the best part about your job? Ooh, the best part is getting to work in a theatre every single day. That makes me extremely lucky and working on a show that I have so much faith in. 
So we know what the process is like for being an actor. You do an audition and you get the role, but what's the process like for being a director? Ah, it can come in many different ways, actually. So some people kind of climb up through a show. They could start in the show um, as an ensemble or a character. Then they can start taking on a little bit more responsibility. They could be a dance captain, assistant dance captain, and they can work their way up from being within a show. Or I got this gig um, through the guy who did the job before me. He knew me. He was leading so it was kind of a little bit who you know. Some people are torn between performing arts and drama. Would you suggest going down the more performing arts route, performing arts college or a drama school? Uh, that's a really good question. It depends on the individual, but what I would say is you come from a different standpoint if you have a better understanding of what it is to be an actor. However, there are loads of incredible directors who have never acted. They just have a vision and they know what they want. And then, and then after that, it's kind of a dialogue between the actor and the director to kind of bring that to life. It's the same with any job. The more experience and knowledge you have around it, the easier you're going to find it. Cool, thank you so much for okay. responding with such insight. Oh, <laughs> you are very welcome. Enjoy the show. Thank you, thank you for the ticket. <laughs> so, hi Amelie, and thanks for letting us join you. Yes. And we're just going to ask you a few questions to find out what it's like behind the scenes in the School cool. of Rock. So, when would you say your passion for performing began and who was your biggest influence? Well, when I was three I started ballet and then when I was around six, seven, I, my friend was in this other like performing school, so I joined that and I've just loved singing, dancing and acting ever since. And what would you say would be a typical day in the theatre at School at Rock? So basically when I wake up I go to school and then afterwards I come here and we have a six o'clock warm up on um, on a evening show and we do a warm up and then we go in, we get our mics on and we get ready for the show and then it opens the show. Cool, so how much would you say that you and your character have in common? Quite a lot in common because Summer's really bossy and direct and I think I'm quite bossy. <laughs> <laughs> So what would you say was your dream role? Probably Elphaba in Wicked or someone in Les Mis because they're both really good musicals. What top tips would you give to like young people going into like performing arts industry? Well, I think they should just go for it because the judges there, they really just want a character like a person to play the character they want you to do well. So just go for it. Cool. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank thank you. That's great. Thank you. So now we're going to go and see the show. See you later. That was amazing. That I was really that. good, the whole year. What was your favourite yeah, part? Yeah, I, I like the end, it was just like big lights and everyone was partying, you know, it was, just, yeah, it was really good. What about you? I loved Dewey, he was so funny. funny yeah. And all of the kids, just the energy yeah, was amazing. Yeah, really good. Well, the show was great. Well, this is us signing off. I'm Louise. I'm Saffron. And we've been on PQA TV here at London's West End School of Rock. Bye. See you next time. <laughs>